not a cardboard crown. And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. Steve Hill writes, I am under obligation to my Savior. My Redeemer's last command was for us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He did not use his last moments before his ascension to speak to the disciples about their own personal welfare. His parting message was not in regard to houses or health, rather it was about heaven or hell. His concern was for the lost. I am under obligation to my neighbor, Paul said. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. 2 Corinthians 5.11 Paul understood that this world is like a burning house. As we Christians have escaped the fire and can hear the agonizing screams of those still trapped in the inferno. What kind of man, upon seeing his neighbor's house ablaze and hearing the cries of the doomed children, would slouch back in his easy chair with no intention of helping? I am under obligation to myself, Paul spoke of the coronation day, when he said, There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. 2 Timothy 4.8 Personally, I want a magnificent crown, such as would even make the angels gasp in awe. Why? Not vanity, I assure you. You see, that crown will represent my life's work for Jesus. Of course, all that I've done won't come close to his tremendous sacrifice for me. However, it will be the only thing of any value that I will have to lay at his feet on that day as I bow and cry. Holy and worthy are you, Jesus. Amen. This devotional was taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray you have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.